Well, the unfortunate incident of the death of uh, the governor of Ondo State, Rotimi Akiridolu, has paved the way for his former deputy, Loki Aedatiwa, to become the new governor. And upon resumption on his first day in office as governor, Mr. Aedatiwa went to the residence of the former governor of the state in Ibadan, where he paid a condolence visit to the family. Governor Ayedatua describes the late Akiridolu as a courageous leader who stood and never took the interest of his people for granted. Olaide Oyuwali has more. As the family of the late Rotimi Akiridolu continues to grapple with the loss, condolences have continued to pour in from diverse corners from across the nation. Family members still recovering from the tragic news have reconvened at Akeridolu's residence in Ibadan, as notable figures from various parts of the country continue to visit, offering their sympathies during this challenging time. Among the initial prominent figures to extend their condolences was Governor Abdurrahman Abdurazak of Kwara State, who is the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, and accompanied by his vice, Governor Sheima Kende of Oyo State. They described his death as a huge loss to the political landscape of Nigeria. It's a, did a great loss for the nation. Uh, this is a man that had risen to the heights of his chosen career, the bar. He was a senior advocate of Nigeria. He has risen to the heights of politics. We've been in the trenches uh, together. Um, when we we're going to uh, set up our matepo, you know, he was pivotal to it. And when we took the decision for Southern Presidency, you know, himself and uh, uh, the former governor of Anambra, they chaired the meeting. The latest is the visit of the sitting governor, Loki Ayedatiwa. As part of his first assignment, he described his predecessor as an exemplary leader who always stood for what was right. He has always been our leader, uh, a courageous one for that matter, one who who has governed on those state in the last uh, six and a half to seven years with, get, with great courage and with so many legacies that he has left behind. He's an exemplary leader, a courageous one, a leader that believes in fairness, equity, and justice. As the family of the late governor continues to mourn their own, it is hoped that the overwhelming condolences would provide enough solace for the family to move forward, despite the pain left by the death of their beloved. Oladio Yewale, TVC News, Ibadan.